If I click on the foundation, again, you can see there's a tool in our context sensitive toolbar. It's an auto build roof tool for building hip restyle roofs. And you can see it automatically creates a, uh, a hip roof, again, following the outline of that foundation for us around the perimeter of our structure. If I wanted to change the um, detail of that roof, obviously, again, that roof has a, guess what, default value. Its default value is 22 and a half degrees as a pitch. So if I click on the roof and click on options and go to the roofing tab, you can see under the options box, I have the capacity to change the default value. For example, from roof pitch of 22 and a half degrees, when I click apply, you see the roof pitch is then adjusted to the new value of 27 degrees. Okay, so let's talk about how we might gable this end. So we click on the roof itself. And again, now in the context sensitive toolbar, we've made available to your tool that's called the build gable tool. And the idea behind this tool is it creates a gable from a roof face. I click on the gable and then click on the tool and you can see it gives me the capacity to create a gabled end. If I wanted to create a face offset for this roof, I would come under options, go to face offset and choose a dimension for the face offset. So like so many features about the master upgrade, really what we're going through is a process of um, choosing a default value as you know, usually the default value is the most common value in it in an industry if the standard height of the walls are 2400 and 200 deep that's what the default value is in this particular case the roof is simply applied to a single story home following the outline of the foundation on the um, overhang of the roof that you nominated when you created the roof base overhang we chose a 300 millimeter overhang and so the software has created a three millimeter a 300 millimeter overhang for us the software has allowed us to auto build a roof so let's go that again here's our roof foundation and here's our auto build roof tool the auto build roof tool creates a standard roof 22 and a half degrees we have the capacity then to get in here and then change the roof add options and and features and visual um, differences of the roof from what begins as a default value. And if you ever get lost, if you're ever looking for some functionality you can't seem to find, if you want to make an adjustment and you can't seem to work out where do I make that adjustment, nine times out of 10, that information is going to be made available to you in the options dialog box. Click on an object and go to its options box. So we go to our options box and choose the roof. Now, just like the context sensitive toolbar, be aware that the options box, the tabs in the options box will change based on what you have selected. So if I have the wall selected, you can see under the options box, we have a tab that allows us to modify um, the height, depth and length of the wall segment. If I select the roof, the wall segment tab is not available, but the roof is. So much of the virtual decorator software is designed to be context sensitive. It's presuming that you'll click on an object and then choose its options. And the reason that we do this is so we don't flood you with information. We figure by giving you a methodology that says, select an object and then click on the options box, we can keep the on-screen information to a minimum, keep the clutter to a minimum, and by going through that process, make the process of learning how the software works and how the tools function as quick and as simple to learn as possible.